Some people fear we may no longer be human. Enticed by the promise of advancement, we stretched our moral boundaries, bonding metal to flesh until it flowed within our veins. Discovering too late that the same technologies touting freedom proved the perfect tools to enslave mankind. The opportunists of the new world controlled and manipulated us, preying on our desire to be extraordinary and free. God, they claimed, was a dream of good government, a dream distorted by insatiable greed. Ever watchful, theirs are the invisible hands tugging at the threads of fate, clouding the truth in a smokescreen of lies. Against such power, we may feel insignificant, but with open eyes, we are not defenseless. In the chaos of this rising conflict, every action has consequence. There are countless ways to fight those who wield influence as their weapon of choice. And regardless of our alignment, whatever path we choose, whatever choice we make, we will rise from the ashes toward a new era of enlightenment, poised to rediscover what it truly means to be human. human beings. Each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end. An increase in the number of terrorist attacks highlights the danger posed by augmented citizens. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. Help me! Sometimes, you just have to let go, and embrace what you've become. They've worked from the shadows for years, shaping the future, manipulating lives, controlling information. Innocents have died as they play their game. We will not sit idly by and allow our rights to be eroded out of fear and ignorance any longer. We will not be herded into ghettos and treated as outcasts. We will stop at nothing. The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. So much pain. So many lies. Their darkness must end. This should be your fight as well, brother. The promise of a golden age is over! Incidents turned the world upside down. Fifty million dead, 
Hundreds of thousands more maimed and injured. All because a few rich opportunists plotted in secret to control us. Today, hatred of Augs has morphed into a full-blown mechanical apartheid, with violent clashes fueling unrest. The Augmented are suffering a genocide. It begins with taking away our rights, treating us as less than human, and then exterminating us. Something big is brewing, and I need to cut it off at the source. How can these people always be one step ahead? They've got unlimited power and money and absolutely no conscience at all. That's how. They manipulated the dawn of Human 2.0. Made it dangerous. Made me. I'm going to use every advantage I have to stop them. <laughs> My advanced capabilities convinced Interpol to recruit me to their counter-terrorism task force, despite objections within the team. I'm willing to endure their prejudice, so long as it furthers my hunt for the true threat. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? If I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Turns out my military-grade enhancements were hiding a full set of cutting-edge experimental logs. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Meaning my ability to infiltrate, fight, and circumvent has now grown exponentially. Right along with the increasing threat level. Being stationed in Prague, places me at the epicenter of terrorist activity. And with blame for the latest atrocity being leveled at an augmented group there, the only certainty is that the body count will keep rising. Our territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. The task force wants me to bring Ark's leader to justice, dealing with his augmented army as I see fit. Starting my investigation by interrogating Talos Rucker on the realities of his non-violent approach could prove beneficial. Every floor of their towering complex is packed with armed militia and filled with high-end security. But its makeshift construction provides me with plenty of options. Going in full force and guns blazing may result in casualties. But if I want to strong-arm Rucker into surrendering, it makes sense to use force. Engaging them with modified firearms, explosive nanoblades, and using my Titan shield to negate their counterfire as I roll through like a reinforced tank. I have known exactly the kind of thug you are since the moment you entered. If Ark had no involvement in the bombing, it might justify going in like a ghost, hacking their security systems, using the architecture to my advantage, delivering concussive blasts via the Pep's gun and relying on the Tesla's electrified projectiles to avoid any unnecessary deaths. A lack of casualties would be a show of respect to someone like Rucker, and might just convince him to peacefully turn himself in. Faced with two terrible choices, I choose the lesser evil. I will come with you. But he and Ark represent just one facet of my hunt for the truth. And I'll need to keep tracking down leads and making contacts on both sides of the law if I hope to uncover the true motives behind these escalating attacks. It's not always about doing the right thing, or about doing things the right way. Intel gathered from allies outside the task force has me questioning everything, including the true intentions of my own command. If you're meeting with Miller, be careful. You walked into another ambush, and Miller's not off the suspect list yet. Everyone's got their agenda. Meaning I'll have to trust my gut when dealing with suspects. How far are you willing to go to help out a friend in need? Whether I'm working by the book or going rogue, choice never comes without consequence. What's the going rate for cops in Gollum City? You're making a very dangerous assumption. The clock is always ticking, and unraveling the mystery on my own terms. Maybe the only way to prevent disaster. There is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. As anti og conflicts become a global concern, Prague represents just one square 
on a giant chessboard whose pieces are continually manipulated from the shadows. I have to choose my allies wisely, reminding myself of the greater cause. The elite may obscure themselves in darkness, but the truth is still mine to reveal. I don't care that they only speak in whispers. I won't let them have the last word. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. My people and I will resist you. Innocent people died in that bombing today. The Augmented are suffering a genocide. It begins with demonizing us, treating us as less than human, exiling us so we are forgotten, and then exterminating us. You're getting pissed enough to end this guy yet. I got a no-kill order. Who thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice? How dare you speak to me of peace and fairness? on behalf of masters who hide in the shadows and murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. I suspect there is a power struggle brewing within our organization. Some people inside Ark are less committed to our ideals. Then help me find them. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. fight enemies I see. Then isn't it time you brought them into the light? I used to know what tomorrow looked like. Before the world split in two. Everything changed then. Including me. Agent Jensen, am I going to have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. They made me what I am. A high-end weapon. Now, they want to put people like me in a cage. Hunting the elite who thrive in the shadows takes more than just a man. You're not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa, are you? I guarantee you'll never see it coming. It takes a weapon who chooses to believe. A better future is possible. If I can survive long enough to see it. Welcome to the world of Deus Ex. I'm Steve Shipkowski, Executive Audio Director of the Deus Ex franchise. Set in 2029, it takes place in a world where mechanically augmented people like Adam Jensen have become outcasts. Many are being branded as terrorists and forced to live in ghettos under heavy police surveillance. We call it the Mechanical Apartheid. Miller, 
It's Jensen. Just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You're coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. Adam Jensen is back. International covert agent working for an anti-terrorist task force. This time you will play a seasoned Adam that is more empowered than ever with new possibilities such as new augmentations, weapons and tools. He represents the human 2.0. Adam will also be playing a double agent role, as he believes that the task force he's working for is being manipulated by the Illuminati, and his goal is to take them down. Oh, oh, sorry. oh excuse me, I'm really sorry. Damn clank. Here, let me help you with that, ma'am. Ma'am? Seriously? I could have gone with Sweetie. You get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Well, that's something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who it is? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something, and that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Bragg team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. A hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. The task force is an Illuminati front, we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send that into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. One dream of it, Alex. I swear it's gone even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified odds like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we can do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that! I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to Then help me find them. about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, and we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSN? I never subbed that sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom-made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the Innocent's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. The leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the Innocent's motherboard. After the terrorist attack in Prague, the task force asked Adam to look for Talis Rucker, the leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. 
The task force thinks that he is responsible for this terrible act. But still we have no answers. No one has yet claimed responsibility. Dr. Talos Rucker, the leader of ARC, posted a letter condemning the attack. Sources close to the investigation, however, tell me that Rucker and ARC may be behind it after all. I don't know about you folks, but with the upcoming... Interesting pre-game ritual you've got there. You're getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Who'd have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice? How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. Go to preference. Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from that. Whatever you say, boss. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is an action RPG mixing several gameplay pillars, combat, stealth, hacking, and social with deep choices and consequences, wrapped in a heavy narrative. You can play the game any way you want, you can go stealthy, full combat, or a mix of both. You can finish the game without killing anyone if you choose. Chicane, I'm in Ark territory now. Let's fly by show you anything? First section seems to be a mass storage area. View our head looks like Ark has repurposed it for living quarters. Or barracks, maybe. Those two things have very different connotations, Chicane. Which is it? Well, everyone in front of you is armed, so I'll let you decide. Right. Today we're going to play stealth at the beginning of our demo and showcase some new possibilities. You'll notice we just picked up a case of EMP ammunition. We support different ammunition types in Mankind Divided, each of them giving you an edge against certain challenges. In this case, to eliminate the camera, we'll want to use an EMP ammunition bullet type. This part of the presentation only represents a small chunk of the entire map. It won't showcase our social hub environment or the exploration that will be present in the final game. Did you hear about Talos? Hear what? They say he's been drinking a lot lately. You were him? We're responsible for not only everyone in our, but also the entire old cross. You would be You can complete your objectives the way you want and it's key to observe and explore the environment in order to find new passages or rewards. You could even encounter some characters that will provide you more information and will help you. In this area, we could have gone down through the cafeteria, entered some barracks, or gone upstairs. Deus Ex fully supports multi-path and multi-solution approaches. Yeah. Do you think the police will try to come in here? No. Not after what happened to them last time. They have training, we do not. Just stay calm. If anything happens... One of Adam's new augmentations is the non-lethal Tesla gun arm. You can target up to four enemies at the same time. You can also dynamically switch between your weapon and your augmented powers. This allows a fluid and empowering gaming experience. Here's another new augmentation, the Icarus Dash. It allows Adam to reach new areas, even to ram and knock down enemies. It provides more freedom to the player to explore the environments. For the sake of this demo, energy, life, and ammo are infinite and the code presented is alpha. Nothing is final and the game will be even better at the end. Uh, uh, ah! You know, I can ignore you. 
you better when you're quiet, so... What? The remote hacking gives Adam more exploration and alternative paths. You can disable or control robots and cameras with it as well. Here's the first look at one of our new augmentations, the Nanoblade. It can be a very effective weapon, as you'll see here. Maybe this NPC needs to stick around for a little while. Our Hacking 2.0, which is enhanced with more possibilities, such as booby traps, new softwares, new challenges. Jensen, I'm not bothering you, am I? Working my way through maintenance shafts. Thought it was best to stay out of sight. I didn't ask. So you're calling to ask if you're bothering me? Coffee's on the brew, just killing time. Also, I spotted an elevator. Looks like it reaches the upper units. Might get you to our man. Or you could just stay in the air conditioning. In a Deus Ex world, we're constantly reminding you that we have multi-paths and multi-solutions to every challenge. In this case, this is a huge environment. We could have come from down below. We could explore by going to the vent across directly us. Here's another example of what the nanoblade can do. It can also be used as an exploding device, perfect for taking out combatants hiding in cover. In the previous Deus Ex, Human Revolution, we knew that our combat pillar wasn't quite on par with the stealth one. This time around, we put a lot of effort and energy into making the combat pillar as visceral, rich, and a fun of an option to play as the stealth one. We've added in Adam's arsenal the Titan Shield. This allows Adam to become for a short instant a human tank and face heavy fire.
We have much more possibilities now with weapon customization on the fly. You can change your ammo type or even upgrade your weapon to fit with your playstyle. Here we've used an EMP frag grenade to disable the turret and armor piercing bullets to destroy it. Chicane, I'm moving in on Rucker's position. You got those coordinates yet? I'll transmit them as soon as I've finished my coffee. Don't leave me hanging, Chicane. You just worry about getting our man. And be careful, he's dangerous. We'll see. As Deus Ex Mankind Divided is also about meeting deep and rich characters, we pushed our social boss fight system in order to make it more dramatic and credible. We worked on the body behaviors, facial animations, and the all-around staging. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. As the customary final request of the condemned man, please, do not kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the Augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. Going into this social debate, your choices will decide the outcome. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Sojanitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I'm more than a leader. I'm a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable. If I have to bring you in by force, I will. And your people will try to stop me. And neither of us wants anyone to get hurt, so come along, peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. You cannot speak to me of peace or fairness. Not when your masters hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. Come off it, Rucker. You've been preaching pacifism for years from your ivory tower. Now all of a sudden your convictions are really being tested, and you're tossing them away. No, that's... Permit me to frame this in words you will understand. If you take me from here, you will be murdering me, perverting the cause, and destroying the Augmented Rights Coalition! Permit me to return the favor. Come willingly and prove you're a pacifist, or resist and prove you're full of shit. You are the one perverting the cause. You presume to question my pacifism when you attacked innocent people to get in here. I will not dishonor the cause by giving in to you. Ever. There's one last thing. Before you drag me out of here against my will. What motive could I possibly have for committing the atrocities I'm accused of? With every incident, the gap of fear and hatred that divides Augs and non-Augs widens. Who really benefits when innocents die? Allegedly in the name of Aug rights. That's a good question. And a dangerous one. If you ask it too loudly in this place. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying, secretly, to find out who is responsible. 
Rucker. A lot of heat coming through the door. I need a way out now. You fucked it, didn't you? Now she came. Relax, there's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. You can't miss it. I'm already on my way. She came out. Here, we failed the conversation with Rucker, so that alerted the guards, which will make our escape more difficult. If we had won the conversation, the alarm never would have been triggered, which would have allowed you to have an easier escape, and Rucker would have given you his stash keycard in order to get important information. Uh. Now that we fully engaged combat, we will show some of Adam's augmentations, such as the focus mode or the Pep's gun arm. Here's an example of our new focus mode, which basically slows the game down or speeds Adam up, depending on how you want to look at it. But it allows for some amazing results. I'd like to thank you all for sticking around and watching this video. We hope you enjoyed seeing the gameplay footage. Deus Ex Mankind Divided will be released in the near future on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Thanks for your support and keep your eyes and ears open for more Deus Ex Mankind Divided information coming in the following months.
regardless of our alignment, whatever path we choose, whatever choice we make, we will rise from the ashes toward a new era of enlightenment, poised to rediscover what it truly means to be human. human beings. Each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end. An increase in the number of terrorist attacks highlights the danger posed by augmented citizens. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. Help me! Sometimes, you just have to let go, and embrace what you've become. They've worked from the shadows for years, shaping the future, manipulating lives, controlling information. Innocents have died as they play their game. We will not sit idly by and allow our rights to be eroded out of fear and ignorance any longer. We will not be herded into ghettos and treated as outcasts. We will stop at nothing. The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. So much pain. So many lies. Their darkness must end. This should be your fight as well, brother. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying, secretly, to find out who is responsible. Rucker? Got a lot of heat coming through the door. I need a way out now. You fucked it, didn't you? Now she came. Relax, there's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. You can't miss it. Already on my way. She came out. Here, we failed the conversation with Rucker, so that alerted the guards, which will make our escape more difficult. If we had won the conversation, the alarm never would have been triggered, which would have allowed you to have an easier escape, and Rucker would have given you his stash keycard in order to get important information. Now that we fully engaged combat, we will show some of Adam's augmentations, such as the focus mode or the Pep's gun arm. Here's an example of our new focus mode, which basically slows the game down or speeds Adam up, depending on how you want to look at it. 
but it allows for some amazing results. multi paths and multi solutions to every challenge in this case this is a huge environment we could have come from down below we could explore by going to the vent across directly us here's another example of what the nano blade can do it can also be used as an exploding device perfect for taking out combatants hiding in cover In the previous Deus Ex Human Revolution, we knew that our combat pillar wasn't quite on par with the stealth one. This time around, we put a lot of effort and energy into making the combat pillar as visceral, rich, and a fun of an option to play as the stealth one. We've added in Adam's arsenal the Titan Shield. This allows Adam to become for a short instant a human tank and face heavy fire. Deus Ex. I'm Steve Shipkowski, Executive Audio Director of the Deus Ex franchise. Set in 2029, it takes place in a world where mechanically augmented people like Adam Jensen have become outcasts. Many are being branded as terrorists and forced to live in ghettos under heavy police surveillance. We call it the Mechanical Apartheid. Just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You 
coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Bell her out. Adam Jensen is back. International covert agent working for an anti-terrorist task force. This time you will play a seasoned Adam that is more empowered than ever with new possibilities such as new augmentations, weapons and tools. He represents the human 2.0. Adam will also be playing a double agent role, as he believes that the task force he's working for is being manipulated by the Illuminati, and his goal is to take them down. Oh, oh, sorry. oh excuse me, I'm very sorry. Damn clank. Here, let me help you with that, ma'am. Ma'am? Seriously? I could have gone to Sweetie. You get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Well, that's something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something, and that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Brad team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. A hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? Oh no. The task force is an Illuminati front, we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send that into an ambush. Unless they want our team to see something. Yeah. Kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. Going into this social debate, your choices will decide the outcome. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Sojanitsyn's mistake. My people and I, Will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I'm more than a leader. I'm a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable to my evaporation. If I have to bring you in by force, I will. And your people will try to stop me. And neither of us wants anyone to get hurt, so come along, peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. You cannot speak to me of peace or fairness. Not when your masters hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. Come off it, Rucker. You've been preaching pacifism for years from your ivory tower. Now all of a sudden your convictions are really being tested, and you're tossing them away. No, that's... Permit me to frame this in words you will understand. If you take me from here, you will be murdering me, perverting the cause, and destroying the Augmented Rights Coalition! Permit me to return the favor. Come willingly and prove you're a pacifist, or resist and prove you're full of shit. You are the one perverting the cause. You presume to question my pacifism when you attacked innocent people to get in here. I will not dishonor the cause by giving in to you. Ever. There's one last thing. Before you drag me out of here against my will. What motive could I possibly have for committing the atrocities I'm accused of? With every incident, the gap of fear and hatred that divides Orgs and non-Orgs... <laughs> uh. 
We have much more possibilities now with weapon customization on the fly. You can change your ammo type or even upgrade your weapon to fit with your playstyle. Here we've used an EMP frag grenade to disable the turret and armor piercing bullets to destroy it. Moving in on Rucker's position. You got those coordinates yet? I'll transmit them as soon as I've finished my coffee. Don't leave me hanging, Chicane. You just worry about getting our man. And be careful. He's dangerous. We'll see. As Deus Ex Mankind Divided is also about meeting deep and rich characters, we pushed our social boss fight system in order to make it more dramatic and credible. We worked on the body behaviors, facial animations, and the all-around staging. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. As the customary final request of the condemned man, please, do not kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the Augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. Going into this social debate, your choices will decide the outcome. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Sojanitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you before you drag me out of here against my will. What motive could I possibly have for committing the atrocities I'm accused of? With every incident, the gap of fear and hatred that divides Orgs and non-Orgs widens. Who really benefits when innocents die? Allegedly in the name of Og rights. That's a good question. And a dangerous one. If you ask it too loudly in this place. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying secretly to find out who is responsible. Rucker? A lot of heat coming through the door. I need a way out now. You fucked it, didn't you? Now, Relax, there's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. You can't miss it. Already on my way. Chicane out. Here, we failed the conversation with Rucker, so that alerted the guards, which will make our escape more difficult. If we had won the conversation, the alarm never would have been triggered, which would have allowed you to have an easier escape, and Rucker would have given you his stash keycard in order to get important information. Uh. Oh, come on! 
Now that we fully engaged combat, we will show some of Adam's augmentations, such as the focus mode or the Pep's gun arm. Here's an example of our new focus mode, which basically slows the game down or speeds Adam up, depending on how you want to look at it. But it allows for some amazing results. Okay. You just worry about getting our man. And be careful. He's dangerous. We'll see. As Deus Ex Mankind Divided is also about meeting deep and rich characters, we pushed our social boss fight system in order to make it more dramatic and credible. We worked on the body behaviors, facial animations, and the all-around staging. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. As the customary final request of the condemned man, please, do not kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the Augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. Going into this social debate, your choices will decide the outcome. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Sojanitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I am more than a leader. I am a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable. If I have to bring you in by force, I will. And your people will try to stop me. And neither of us wants anyone to get hurt, so come along, peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. You cannot speak to me of peace or fairness. Not when your masters hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. Come off it, Rucker. You've been preaching pacifism for years from your ivory tower. Now all of a sudden your convictions are really being tested, and you're tossing them away. No, that's... Permit me to frame this in words you will understand. If you take me from here, you will be murdering me, perverting the cause, and... De There's one last thing. Before you drag me out of here against my will. What? motive could I possibly have for committing the atrocities I'm accused of? With every incident, the gap of fear and hatred that divides Orgs and non-Orgs widens. Who really benefits when innocents die, allegedly in the name of Org rights? That's a good question. And a dangerous one, if you ask it too loudly in this place. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying, secretly, to find out who is responsible. Rucker? Quiet for me. On your right! 
Where's Kane? I've got a lot of heat coming through the door. I need a way out now. You fucked it, didn't you? Now, Kane. Relax, there's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. You can't miss it. I'm already on my way. Chicane out. Here, we failed the conversation with Rucker, so that alerted the guards, which will make our escape more difficult. If we had won the conversation, the alarm never would have been triggered, which would have allowed you to have an easier escape, and Rucker would have given you his stash keycard in order to get important information. Now that we fully engaged combat, we will show some of Adam's augmentations, such as the focus mode or the Pep's gun arm. Here's an example of our new focus mode, which basically slows the game down or speeds Adam up, depending on how you want to look at it. But it allows for some amazing results. <laughs> 